Welcome back to another Micro Soldering Wednesday. My name is Derek, and today we're going to be applying some technique to the tools that we talked about last Wednesday. If you missed last Wednesday's video, I basically showed all of the beginner equipment that you would need to start micro soldering. So let's get into the video. Now the repair that I'm going to be doing today isn't really as important as the technique that I hope to share with you, which will allow you to fix a bunch of different devices. We're going to be working on an Apple Watch. The flex cables are soldered to the motherboard, which you'll find in a lot of different electronics. 95% of the iPads have charge ports that are soldered to the motherboard, and it's a fairly common repair that's needed. So if this isn't something that you are doing, you should be able to at least start getting into it, if not do it, after watching this video. So let me show you what we're doing. All right, so let's take a look here at this Apple Watch motherboard. A couple things going on with it. We've got this flex cable that got punctured. You can see it got stabbed a bunch of times right there. And the display connectors here with the digitizer and display are all messed up. The techniques and principles that I am going to show you guys throughout this video are a can be applicable to basically any flex cable repair. So basically 95% of your iPad charge ports will be fixed this way. And those are always really good for beginning level solder work because there's really no nothing but technique required for them. When it comes to micro soldering and understanding how to follow a schematic, that's a different story. So we're going to be replacing the display flex and the battery flex cable here. We really only need three things for this repair, solder, flux, and a soldering iron. So I've added some flux to the flex. I'm gonna take the soldering iron here and all we need to do is basically give the flex a little bit of tension and we'll work the iron across it. You can see I'm pulling the solder up and through the holes. And if you start on one side without pulling too hard, what'll happen is the flex will literally let go. And you can do this on uh, this, the charge ports on an iPad. And just like that in real time, it comes off. So let me show you again on this one. We're just gonna add some flux, just like that. Take the iron, I'm gonna pull solder up and through. Give the flex cable a little bit of tension here on, this, on, the, on one side and then put the iron on it and move it around and what'll happen is the solder will melt and the flex cable will lift off. I'll carefully go, I'm not pulling too hard, I'm just pulling hard enough to get it off and it, then it comes off, just like that. Now we're gonna take some new solder, just got some solder wire here, this is a 6337 uh, mixture and what we'll do is we're just gonna add it to the, uh, to the pads and we'll add some flux, so this will help even it out. We'll go over them real quick and just just like that, make them all even. Take a Q-tip with some isopropyl alcohol just to clean this up. Just like that, we're ready to install our new flex. We're gonna add a little bit of flux. And one of the nice things about these flex cables is you can see the little squares on the sides. Uh, they're little windows that'll line up with these two gold squares. So it's really easy to get this right. Just getting some flux on the back of this flex. We'll peel off the protector here for the adhesive. Now I can flip this around and put it in the right orientation. You can easily see the little squares line up in the windows there. And this is exactly how it is really on, on my iPads as well. They basically all have these little windows where you just put a little square in it and you're ready to solder. So we'll take our soldering iron and we'll touch down on the first one and I'm going to go over to the other side and we'll touch down there just to make sure it's now secure and not going to move on me and then you can do what's called drag soldering which is basically what I did at the beginning which is you just drag across it and just like that it's all soldered down now you can see I've got these little kind of pointed areas where it looks like it's going to grab onto stuff like little teeth so I'll just add a little bit of flux and We'll just go down in and touch each one of them up. And just like that, we've got it soldered on. We'll take our Q-tip with some isopropyl alcohol and we'll clean off all of the flux. Now we can take the sticker, which is basically just a caps and tape with a black coating on it. 
and we'll cover back up the joints. And we're gonna repeat the same process over here. So it's already got some flux on it. Now I'm gonna come in with some new solder. You could even use some solder paste. You can use really any form of solder. It just has to be something that you're good working with. This isn't the only way to do it. You could put the flex on first and then add solder and hope that it will jump down onto the pads. I like to do it this way because it ensures that the solder travels up and through the little holes that are on the flex cable. We'll get out our new flex cable and we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to put a teeny bit of flux on top of the flex. Peel off the little protective sticker. We'll line up the little windows with the little squares. I'm going to flip this one around so it's easier to see. Take some time to line it up nicely. All right, now that that's lined up, we'll tack on one of the sides. Go over to the other side, make sure it's still lined up. And we'll tack them, and then we'll go across. Just kind of drag back and forth. Basically, we're getting that flex cable to get closer and closer and closer to the board. And as it does it, more and more of the solder will appear to pull through because the flex will then be literally touching the surface of the motherboard and not just sitting on top of these little solder pads. All right, now one thing that, even though this is definitely solid, one thing to really help is just to reinforce all of the ones that you can still see little holes on. So we're just gonna add a little bit of solder to them. Just drag it across, drag soldering all the way across, positing a little extra solder than, than is really needed to reinforce the joints. Now we'll take some isopropyl alcohol We'll go over it. And this is the exact same process to doing all of the charge ports on an iPad. And it'll get you going in the right direction so that you can start to be confident in microsoldering. And as we continue our journey throughout the year, getting into deeper and deeper things, if you're following along, you'll be confident to expand the repairs that you're doing, gaining more clients, and hopefully earning more money. And I'm just gonna reinforce the this flex cable solder joints because they're very weak from the way the Apple installs them. At minimum, these first few because it looks like the flex got tugged on a little bit and these joints might have popped. I might as well just do all of them. I'll just quickly go over these ones. There we go. Just clean it up and put back the sticker. And that is nice and fixed. And we now have a battery cable that doesn't have all these holes through it. All right, so there we go. We've got the flex cables that were damaged soldered on, reinforced. Of course, this is an older watch. This is, uh, not that it matters, but this is a Series 1. And people are still using them, even though they're the first generation of Apple Watch. But the exact same techniques apply to every single Apple Watch since, and almost every single Apple device in one way or another. If you learned something, make sure to like the video. Comment down below if there's something that you'd like to see in one of the future videos for micro soldering, where you'd like to see us get to, or if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.